Cool. All right, how about show me some shoes? You want to show me some? Okay, so we'll come over here. All right. And we'll come over to the men's wall right here. All right. And so we have a men's wall and a women's wall. Okay. Um, and they're arranged by brand, but also arranged by stability. Okay. So to kind of explain that, I will take, let's take Brooks, for example. So I can take three Brooks shoes off the wall. All right. They're all the same brand. All the same brand. And you're going to notice that they have different supports. And how you can tell on the different supports, when you look on the inside, the medial side of a shoe. Okay. Going to notice that this one is all white, and it's the same density foam throughout the shoe. Okay. When I take the Adrenaline by Brooks, when I turn it over, you're going to see a darker material from here to here. Yes. They disguise it a little bit for looks. Um, this foam right here... It's denser and stiffer. Okay. And what that is for is it's for a runner that tends to pronate when they run. Okay. So their arch flexes and they naturally it roll in. It keeps them from sinking in? Yes. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is the whole idea is to keep the foot in alignment with the ankle, the shin, the knee, and it's a chain reaction. It certainly the is. Okay. And then you have something like this, which is the addiction, and you're going to see the gray material here. It's going to extend further back, further forward, so it's someone that really overpronates. Okay. And you're going to notice that you're going to see some differences in the shape of the shoe. Right. This shoe is more ideal for someone that has a flatter foot. I see. Yeah. Okay. A wider, yeah, flatter foot. Mm -hmm. Yep. So even though you have three different... I, well, I should say you have the same brand, you have three totally different shoes. Right. Exactly. So you have a, a pretty good staff of people who are well educated in not only the shoes, but how they fit and what they do? Absolutely. We have a highly trained staff. Yeah. Um, we definitely pride ourselves in the customer service. So mm -hmm. everyone here is trained to do a fit, as you can see right here. <laughs> yes. And uh, there's like a, what, a, a six-step fitting process that you guys go through? Just about. So what we do with every customer is we talk to them, see what they're looking for, Okay. Um, do different measurements on their foot. So a standing um, measurement so that it's weighted um, for length, width, and then we actually watch you move. Good idea. Uh, so we look to see where the motion is in the foot. Do they pronate? Do they supinate? Are they neutral? Right. And then uh, we recommend shoes based on that. Okay. Excellent. And uh, do you, you told me there's something important to know about socks. Socks, yes. So socks are also very important. So you can see our socks section over here. Yes. The main thing with socks um, is to wear a non-cotton sock. And a lot of people will get blisters. And a lot of that is usually due to, one, is how the shoe's fitting, but number two is what sock they're wearing. No kidding. Okay. okay. Um, what you don't want is those old cotton socks that have stretched out and right. now are baggy and wrinkling. I mean, those the white ones that come in like a package of six? <laughs> exactly. In the, okay. Exactly. So all of these are non-cotton. Okay. They're going to have a stretch to them, and they will not lose their shape in the wash. Oh, excellent. So nice to hear that. And, and they're... Uh, I, the, a word I hear all the time now is like seamless, so that they don't bunch up and pinch your pinky toe when you're putting them on and stuff like that. Yes, That's a pain, and, of, exactly. pain in the foot. <laughs> exactly. All of the socks will be seamless, uh -huh. and then it's a preference of height and what thickness you like. So exactly. even though they're non-cotton, you can still get a padded sock or you can get a thin sock. Great. And you have some recovery stuff over here too, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. So right over here... We have kind of a recovery section, so we're going to have um, compression socks, and CEP is actually okay. a medical grade of compression. Yeah, excellent. I have used them, <laughs> and you know, for like longer runs and stuff, they're, they're pretty interesting. Nicely done. They're great, and we have like rock tape, um, and we have different massage rollers. Yes, for um, the so myofascial release, when you're digging into your muscles to relieve that, that pressure. Exactly. You know. So they're similar to foam rollers, which we have as well. Yes. Um, but some people find it a little bit more relaxing just to grab the stick. Yeah, you can do that sitting down. Yeah, <laughs> so you would just rub it like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and it breaks it, it breaks up the you know, the knots and then it makes your stretching a lot more effective. Exactly. Fantastic. Good. Well thanks for showing us around here. Yeah, you're welcome.